Hi, Roger from Hoka Australia here to talk to you about the Clifton 8. So the Clifton 8 has been in market for a while now. It's already been through its first season very successfully in Australia. A huge pickup of the model, a lot of growth in this space as people discover Hoka and find what is probably the most approachable Hoka for many runners, and that is the Clifton. So in the Clifton 8, what we've done is pretty important actually. I had someone the other day go, so Clifton 8, what's different from Clifton 7? And after I ran through what was different, I realized pretty much everything. So what is different is that we are using a lighter mesh. We're continuing our program of no overlays, so very little constraint on the foot. We've added more comfort touches behind the ankle and a better ergonomic fit around the heel as well as a better midfoot lockdown. This acts basically as a pull tab when you're pulling the shoe on and also the shaping here of this cushioning and this padding uh, distributes force or any pressure behind the ankle, behind the Achilles much more evenly. And then as you come down to the midsole, this is probably the most important change across the range. We don't have names for most of our foams. We don't use a naming system the way uh, many brands in running do. And the simple reason for that is because we like to always be innovating. And if we are using the best available foam technology every six or 12 months, the minute that it comes to hand and deploying that in our product, then we are unable to carry on with any sort of foam name. So if we created a cool, spicy, zingy foam name, uh, we would have to make the midsole feel that way and work that way for a period of time. Whereas what we do is we focus on what we do best, which is innovation, performance and comfort for runners and walkers and hikers everywhere. So this new midsole foam in the Hoka Clifton 8 is lighter than our previous foams, but more resilient. So it's going to give you probably a longer ride. And what you're also going to find is that the shoe surprisingly has not actually changed weight. And the reason that we have not changed the weight of the shoe is because we know that from a background of making very, very light shoes for high performance athletes who will sacrifice everything for a weight saving, we know that some of our much lighter products are not specifically intended for mainstream consumers. So with the Clifton, which is very much for every single runner, what we've done is we have used that weight saving to increase the amount of outsole coverage. So this outsole on the Clifton 8 is really the heaviest part of the shoe and we've been able to use more of it but keep the weight of the shoe the same because of the new generation of foam that we're deploying. So there you have it, Clifton 8, you're going to find a fit that is a little bit shallower across the toe box but broader and frankly better conforming fit for the foot and much more foot shape. You're going to find that better midfoot lockdown, you're going to find better comfort and hold around the ankle and heel area. And I think unanimously, this is what I've heard from many people using the shoe and what I've found myself. This is the best midsole foam we have used yet for my money in the Bondi, the Arahi or the Clifton. So there you have it, Clifton 8.